Okay, so what do we have here? Well, this is going to be a ratio problem. And if you're in any kind of mathematics at the middle or high school level, especially algebra, you're definitely going to be, uh, have to know how to handle a problem like this. But let me go ahead and explain the problem, and then uh, we'll see if you can actually solve it. But uh, here we have a stick. So this is a stick, and it's 30 centimeters long. Okay, so we have this stick, and let's say we break this stick into two parts. We got this little small part, and we have this larger part. But when we break this stick into two parts, the, uh, the lengths of these respective parts are going to be at a 1 to 4 ratio. That's what this little uh, colon means in mathematics. It means 2. It indicates a ratio. So the small part to the large part will be at a 1 to 4 ratio uh, once we break this stick into two parts. Again, the stick is 30 centimeters. So the question is, what's the actual length of the small part and the large part? Now, there's a couple different ways you can uh, reason through this problem. I'm going to show you the way that uh, I think is the best way. In the, uh, but here's the deal. In mathematics, when you solve a problem, you have to justify your results. Okay. So if you're like, oh, I think it's this, this makes sense. Well, even though you might be correct, you have to be able to back up your reasoning. So go ahead and give this problem a shot. It's not that difficult. Put your answer into the comment section if you think you know how to solve it. Again, I'm going to show you the actual solution here in just one second, and then we're going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I can tell you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, but it requires great math instruction that's clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. It will help you out big time. Also, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test or exam that has a uh, math uh, section on it or some sort of mathematics on it, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, there's a ton of tests out there. Many of you are going to have to take these uh, placement exams, certification exams, entrance exams. Anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my um, award-winning uh, homeschool courses for middle and high school mathematics. If you need a pair of great math notes, well, I'm going to leave links to my notes you can um, use because you need something to study from. Uh, that's why you have to take notes. But anyways, you'll find links to my math notes in the description of this video, but start improving your notes and you'll see that everything in terms of mathematics will get better for you. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this particular problem uh, again. Uh, there's not just one way to kind of reason through this, but make sure you justify whatever way, whatever approach uh, you took. Put your answer is uh, put your answers into the comment section. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the solution right now. Okay, so there you go. Here is our uh, stick. We broke it into two parts. We have a small part and of course a larger part, but these two parts are at a one to four ratio. The small part is 6 centimeters, and the larger part is 24 centimeters. So how did you do? Well, if you got this right, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A++. Matter of fact, we'll give you more than 100%. I'm going to give you 110% and a few stars because you were so awesome in mathematics. Okay, so nice job. But again, how did you get this answer? All right, make sure you're um, in math, whether... You're just doing a math problem. You're just trying to figure something out. Always think in terms of, okay, what am I doing? You know, you're kind of telling a story until you get to that final solution. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how I did this problem. So here is our uh, stick. The stick is 30 centimeters. And of course, we're going to break this thing into two parts, uh, a small part and a large part. But the uh, the parts are going to be, these two respective parts, are going to be at a 1 to 4 ratio. Now, let's just talk about what that means. So 1 to 4, this little colon right there, that means the word 2 in mathematics, right? So we have the word 2 here, 1 to 4. But really, a ratio is effectively a fraction. So another way to express 1 to 4 is 1 to 4. So the fraction bar in and of itself is the word two. Okay, so that's this is one, two, four. This is also one, two, four, and we are talking about a ratio. So 
When you study ratios, you're likely uh, studying something called rates and proportions. I don't want to go off on too much of a tangent, but again, uh, these topics kind of all come into play and they're all uh, effectively kind of interrelated, right? So uh, ratios and rates are fractions and proportions are two equal fractions. If you're studying this and you need extra help with this, I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel on rates, ratios, and proportions. Matter of fact, I have a good amount, but uh, I would steer you towards like my Algebra 1 uh, program or Algebra 2 uh, if you really need to know this stuff. But uh, rates, ratios, and, and proportions, problems like this even show up a lot in geometry. Okay, so it's not just algebra. Um, again, you gotta know this stuff. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so here, if um, I have the small, this small side, what we really want to interpret, what one to four means, is that for every one of this, whatever length this is, this longer part is going to be four times this shorter part. That's what this one to four means. So here's the small part. The larger part will be four times the small part. So if this is x or one x in length, this is going to be four times this length, so that would be 4x. So we're going to use algebra to solve this particular problem. Okay, so the, here we have the small length. Here we have the longer length. We know the total length, though, is 30, so we can write ourselves a lovely algebraic equation. So we have x, this length here, plus 4x is equal to the total length of this stick, which is 30. Uh, centimeters. So we can go ahead and solve this basic equation. So x plus 4x is 5x. 5x is equal to 30. How do we solve for x? Well, I simply divide both sides of the equation by 5. I get x is equal to 6. Okay, so what does that mean though? Well, let's go back to our figure. So remember this was x or 1x and this is 4x. So if x is equal to 6, well x here uh, i.e. x is equal to 6. So this length here is 6 centimeters. Don't forget your units of measure. So if you write down just 6, remember this is, we're looking for the actual lengths. So we do have units of measure. So put that little uh, centimeters in. That is important. Okay, so if this is 6, uh, this longer length is going to be 4 times the smaller length. Again, we know what x is. It's 4. So I mean, uh, excuse me, 6. So this is going to be 4 times 6 or 24. So that's how we get the longer length. Now, let's just go ahead and uh, think about this. Does this make sense? Well, 6 plus 24, this total length, in fact, does uh, equal 30. So it definitely makes sense there. But let's uh, double check that 6 and 24, that these two lengths are, in fact, at a 1 to 4 ratio. Okay, so this is how we can check this. All right, so if uh, 6 and 24 are at a 1 to 4 ratio, we can set up a quick proportion just to see if this is, in fact, true. Okay, so 1 to 4, again, we can write it like this, it's a fraction. Is that equal to 6 to 24? Okay, this is what uh, it means for uh, you to have a proportion. You have two equal fractions, i.e., is 6 to 24 at a 1 to 4 ratio? Well, an easy way to do this, again, is to set up a proportion which is two equal fractions. So we could just look here and see, oh, I can reduce the fraction 6 over 24 to 1 to 4. So this is true. Okay, hopefully you said, oh, yeah, no, this is true. But we can also use this idea of the cross product, which, again, is covered when you study proportions. And that means that when you multiply across, if you have a valid proportion, i.e., uh, two equal rates, ratios, or fractions, that the cross product is true. So here we have 4 times 6 is that equal to 1 times 24? Well, of course, 4 times 6 is 24, and 1 times 24 is 24. So that, in fact, is true. So again, that just tells us that our answer, 6 and 24, those uh, lengths are at a 1 to 4 ratio. Okay, so again, uh, this is a common type of uh, problem that you're going to see at the middle school, especially at the high school level. Uh, don't let these problems scare you, right? The way to uh, learn uh, how to tackle any problem in mathematics is to, one, you know, first learn the skills, okay, that you, um, uh, that are required to solve that problem. In this particular uh, problem, we had to understand what is a ratio. You have to know some basic algebra. And then you have to apply those skills, all right? So, you know, uh, the thing about doing math problems is it's going to tell you whether you know something or not, right? So if you discover, oh, I don't know this, I'm not quite sure about that, well, that's actually good, okay, because 
when you don't know, or when you know what you don't understand, well, these are the things you need to work on. And if you work on improving this stuff, your overall math skills are going to get better. So again, you know, don't quit and just don't uh, watch me do a math problem. You got to do your, um, you know, you got to practice this stuff on your own. Okay, but if this particular video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.